If we built a massive elevator <laughs> stretching all the way to space, Earth's gravity... Where are you going to make it out of? Carbon nanotubes or something? ...would hold the base in place just like a skyscraper. Uh, that is, until it reaches... Not to mention the gravity, centrifugal forces, and of whatever it is you're lifting. Dream heights. At this point, it would become too heavy, making the structure unstable. Yeah. But what if we kept building? <laughs> Once it anyway, reaches a staggering 22,000 miles high, Earth's gravity loses to the centrifugal force from space. Yeah, but now you're dealing with temperature fluctuations, intense cosmic rays, solar rays, and micrometeorite impacts. And by putting I a large know. counterweight <laughs> at the top, this new force like would sign. begin to pull the tower outward. In theory, this tension would keep the elevator steady, allowing safe travel to and from space. One of you. It'd be cool to see a nuclear power source for something like that, though. And you're certainly going to need nuclear material insights and risk assessments for this kind of job.